see, we here at Plays and Cars have had a lot of cars, and I do mean a lot of cars, over 150 already at this point. And so we've sold a fair number of cars. Obviously, we've sold a bunch through Craigslist, uh, Facebook Marketplace, local newspaper classifieds back in the day when that was a thing, and quite a few online, including this 1973 Cadillac Coupe de Ville uh, in gold. And we sold that one on eBay to a collector in Chicago. And everything with that auction went really great. Uh, put the car up on eBay, had a seven-day auction. I was able to pick the start and end times. Uh, reserve price, all of that good stuff. It met reserve. Uh, it was paid for very promptly, and a car hauler showed up one day and took the car away, and that was that. It was a happy buyer, happy seller, great transaction, and the Cadillac found its new home. After the Caddy, we had this V8 swapped 85 Jag XJS. Uh, had the L98 in it from a Corvette, and we sold it on Bring a Trailer. Um, this is the actual auction here. Bring a Trailer keeps all of their uh, old stuff up, which is great for looking up past details of cars. What happened on this one is my reserve was higher than the car got to. Uh, they list it as sold for $2,500. Uh, my, res my reserve, if I remember correctly, was about $2,800. It was fairly low. I was not in this car much money at all. I didn't think it had a whole lot of value. It was just a fun car. Uh, and at the time, Bring a Trailer was doing fun stuff like this, things with engine swaps and um, you know, kind of off-the-wall projects. As you can see here, it was sold in late 2016. And so they took it right away. It didn't quite meet my reserve, but they were able to meet me in the middle. So uh, if I remember right, Bring a Trailer kind of dropped their fee and paid me the difference uh, between the buyer and me, which is totally fine. So he was happy. I was happy. I think Bring a Trailer was happy. This car brought a fair number of comments and traffic to their website, and it uh, got shipped to Jacksonville, Florida. That brings us to the second car on Bring a Trailer. And you can see here the 66 AMC Rambler American. They did not want to sell this car uh, because it, they wanted to go no reserve because of a hood graphic. It had, frankly, not a very nice uh, picture hand-painted on the hood, and they didn't go for that. I was able to get a second hood uh, that was factory paint, and, but by then they just weren't interested in the car anymore. 66 Rambler American convertible that was actually really, really nice. And more recently, there was our Thunderbird Turbo Coupe project. You see, we got this uh, Ford Thunderbird Turbo Coupe and did some fun stuff with it and really enjoyed it. And it was time to let it go. We listed it on eBay. Uh, the car had a lot of bidders and a lot of comments, and it sold. And then the high bidder never paid, and it was a fiasco. eBay was basically powerless to force them to pay. eBay was not interested in getting us in touch with the second highest bidder to see if he wanted it for his price. Um, and so we ended up with a whole bunch of fees that we had to pay uh, up front until eBay finally refunded us uh, almost 90 days later. Um, even though it was a non-payment, and it was just a very frustrating experience top to bottom. Uh, even though we were able to pick out our start date and end date and time and all that stuff uh, and have good interaction with our bidders, it just wasn't the right experience. And, you know, we were really hoping for something newer and better when it came time to sell the next vehicle. And that brings us to now. We've purchased this Audi S4, and it was time to sell our Audi A4. Because obviously you don't need both of these wonderful machines in your collection at the same time. So we've gone over the pros and cons of our experiences on Bring a Trailer, and the pros and cons of our experiences on eBay, uh, and now there's a new kid on the block. Doug DeMuro has, of course, created Cars and Bids, and we've been watching it, looking at cars, even bid on a couple of cars, although nothing too super serious. Um, and we thought that that was probably the best marketplace to sell our A4, specifically because, as you see, it's modified. It's got 
a front mount intercooler on it, and a carbon fiber lip, the RS grill, it's been lowered on black 18s, uh, and it has a whole bunch of other mods which are all covered in our videos. Now because of those mods, this isn't the kind of car you're going to see on Auto Trader, Craigslist, uh, those kind of sites because it's not normal. It's not just a standard A4. It also kind of precludes it from Bring a Trailer. Bring a Trailer is very much about low mileage, stock, really special cars. In fact, there's never even been a four-cylinder A4 on Bring a Trailer that we can find. There were only two or three A4s we've seen, period, and they've all been uh, really special ones with the 3 liter or the 3.2 uh, with special packages. This just isn't the kind of car they're going to take. Plus, it's 130,000 miles, which is a million miles to bring a trailer. It's just not what they're looking for. If we were selling this, they would definitely want it. Super Rare S4 Sport Pack uh, with the Sport Diff and the Audi Drive Select and the Alcantara Interior and on and on and on. That's the kind of car they're looking for, not a modded uh, kind of pedestrian, quote unquote, E4. So we decided to try Cars and Bits. Give it a shot, see what happened. And how did that auction go, you ask? Well, as you see, not too good. We had a reserve of 7,500, which is super low on that car. We realistically wanted it at nine. Uh, but we were able to talk with Cars and Bids, and they assured us that it would meet this reserve and more, and we would be a lot closer to our nine. What happened was our car got listed three days before Christmas. We were not able to pick the start date, end date, uh, what time of day, anything like that. So this car actually started and ended at 9 o'clock in the morning. Uh, which is a terrible time for an auction to end, and on a Tuesday. And so because of that, uh, it bid up to 5800 and it was a no sale. I was a bit disappointed because we actually had a number of bids uh, from the same few people. Uh, there were a couple of buyers going back and forth. You can go and look at this um, between this guy, Cadman, uh, this guy, Nathy, and they were kind of going back and forth on this car, uh, bidding each other up a couple hundred bucks at a time. The problem was when it came time to end, both those guys disappeared into the ether. Uh, some random person was the high bidder that had never previously commented on the car or bid on it, and it just didn't meet reserve. Um, Cars and Bids contacted us. They attempted to get us to lower our price, and they attempted to get the buyer to raise their price, and they were going to waive a certain amount of fees to try and get it done like uh, Bring a Trailer did with our Jag, and we just couldn't get there. Frankly, this car is worth way more than this, uh, and I think the buyer knows it, and I think Cars and Bids knows it, because if you look for B8 A4s uh, with a 6-speed um, that have had the timing chain done, they are all about nine to ten grand. You just, I mean, you can find cheaper ones certainly with a lot more miles or no service history or branded titles that have been hit and whatnot. If you want a no stories car, never been hit, never had an issue, has had the proper maintenance done, you've got to spend the money. Um, and that just didn't happen here. And I think we were just a victim of bad timing. Nobody wants to buy a car the week of Christmas. And nobody wants to buy a car in the dead of winter. Um, even though it is an all-wheel drive winter car like this. So I, I'm not placing blame on cars and bids. I would like to see them allow sellers to adjust uh, start and end times. Um, frankly, we would have waited till after the holidays to even list this car in the first place. And I also think Cars and Bids should have done a better job reaching out to bidders. Because when you have bidders that um, have been bidding on the car multiple times, it would make more sense to talk to them uh, than people who haven't. So, for example, this guy Cadman, he auctioned off his S3 on Cars and Bids, and he bid on our car eight times. So Cars and Bids should have really been talking to him, the second place person, instead of the first place person, because we might have actually been able to make something work out. So conclusions. What's the takeaway? Where are we going to sell our other cars, like our C5 Z06 or our 986 Porsche Boxster S?
or the BAS4 when the time comes, or our P38 Range Rover V8, or even Project Boost Wagon way over there? Honestly, the answer is, it depends. It all depends on what the car is, when you're trying to sell it, and what kind of market you're looking at. This Range Rover, for example, as you can see, isn't exactly in the best shape. We got dents there, uh, all sorts of stuff going on with it. It's clearly been used off-road. It's got a ton of miles. This isn't the kind of thing Bring a Trailer is going to be interested in. However, this kind of thing would probably do really, really great on cars and bids. In fact, when the time comes that we have to sell this, even given everything that happened with our Audi A4, we will probably list this on cars and bids. I think they do a great job with certain vehicles and Range Rovers and cheap four-wheel drives are definitely one of them. This car we have no problem selling no reserve because we literally have no money in it. Anything is going to be uh, a profit uh, on this to us. And so for that reason, a no reserve auction would be just fine. Our C5 on the other hand is a totally different story. This car is literally perfect. No issues, never been hit, clean title, two owners, um, all original, 40,000 miles on it. This is the kind of car that bring a trailer is great for nowadays in the 2020s. Simply put, it's a no stories car, it's low miles, it's uh, a rarish car, especially in this color, Electron Blue was 2002 only. This is the kind of car that Bring a Trailer would accept in no time and have no issues selling for the maximum amount of money. So if we ever were to sell our C5 Z06, we would most likely sell it on Bring a Trailer. And thus we are back to the A4. What are we going to do with the A4? Well, we are actually talking with Cars and Bids about relisting the car at a more opportune time. Basically, we're going to give it a couple of months, get into tax season, get into people getting refunds and stimuluses and, and paying off Christmas and all that good stuff, and this car has a better shot at selling. In the meantime, we actually have it listed on the Wild Wild West Marketplace that is Facebook, um, which frankly is terrible. I have never seen a worse interface for buying or selling anything in my entire life, and yet you have to use it because everybody is on Facebook. Um, so it is on Facebook Marketplace uh, on all the different Audi clubs and forums and B8 pages and A4 pages and Pacific Northwest pages and stuff like that. And so maybe, just maybe, we'll find an Audi enthusiast uh, who is ready to step up and do a B8 or needs a highway cruiser or a daily driver um, and still wants to stick with something cool to keep the miles off their S4 or something like that, and we can get it sold. If not, we are looking at putting it back on cars and bids. Um, again, it's not the car for bring a trailer. It's probably not the car with eBay, and frankly, our issues with eBay have been manifest as of late. And... Um, you know, it's just, it's kind of a weird time right now to sell cars. Craigslist is not what it used to be. Back in the day, man, Craigslist was where you sold a car because everybody looked on Craigslist. Whether it was a $100 beater or a $100,000 car, Craigslist seemed to be where everybody was at. That is gone. Craigslist is now nothing but garbage ads that are repeats from dealers that have been up for months at a time. There, there's no point in going to Craigslist anymore. Like I said, Facebook Marketplace is terrible. It's this wild west where you type in a keyword and it never shows you what you want and then you find out that you had exactly what you were looking for two miles down the road but for some reason it didn't show up in their algorithm it's just ridiculous trying to contact people is a pain and then uh your listings get pulled for no reason uh, we actually had a listing for this car pulled for being a digital product how is it a digital product i can touch it <laughs> Ah, anyways, I could rant for days on Facebook and all of their idiocy. So, you can't do Craigslist, you can't do Facebook, you can't do eBay. Bring a trailer won't take your car. Cars and bids isn't quite right for your car. What do you do? Where do you go? I'm not sure. We don't have the answer yet. We'll do a follow-up video if and when we ever sell this car and let you know which one was successful. Maybe we'll list it on everything at the same time. That might be a pretty good idea. Hmm. Anyways, that's been our experience with cars and bids and all of the other online selling sites here on the plays with cars youtube channel i hope you picked something up from this 
Uh, and if you enjoyed our videos, please click the uh, subscribe button. We had a ton of videos on upgrading this car, uh, our B8A4, as well as its predecessors. We had a B7A4 and a B6A4. Um, so this is our fourth Audi now. You, again, you can see updates on the S4 as we modify that. We also have a bunch of videos on our C5 Corvette and our 986 Boxster Autocross project. So really appreciate any likes, comments, subscribes, dislikes. Tell us if you hate it. Uh, you know, all that feedback is useful. We really appreciate it. Until uh, next time, that's been the Plays With Cars YouTube channel.